Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel. In the previous video, we have seen about the components teleport concept, right? So by that we have completed, we have did all the <coughs> components concept we have completed so far. We have completed most of the concepts we have completed. Now we will proceed to the further. Before going to the UJS routing concept, so just I want to clarify another thing that is nothing but how to do the HTTP request in the Vue.js. So in the Vue.js inbuilt doesn't support the uh, doesn't support means doesn't have any library with the inbuilt uh, HTTP. So if you want to use the HTTP request or anything, we need to use uh, third party library. So we can use inbuilt browser fetch methods. Okay, if you are for making the HTTP calls or otherwise you can use third party libraries which I will be using which I will be using most commonly. That is nothing but what I can say is Axios. If you type Axios, so this is the powerful uh, <coughs> JavaScript, uh, this one HTTP library. So for which we can use for making the HTTP request. We can use it in anywhere, any framework. You can use it in Angular also. You can use, uh, you can use uh, React JS and Vue JS also. We can use. So how to install this Axios and how to make a uh, simple post request? I will explain you in this video. Before continuing to this video, if you are coming first time to here. Please do support me by subscribing to my channel so that I will be posting more and more front end development courses. Now, coming to this video, let's try to install this Axios. So, upon installing this Axios, I have, I have created a new uh, project using Vue CLI. And here, what I will try to do is npm install Axios. Okay, so you, you can use hyphen hyphen save for adding it in the dependencies, or otherwise, automatically, if you will use the hyphen hyphen save, it will be automatic, automatically added in the dependency. <clears throat> so it will take some time to install the axios so for by the time meantime what we will try to do is we will try to create a new component post post dot view so in this one i have already added bootstrap here in the index.html so bootstrap is already added what i will try to do is i will try to create a template and i will have a div and here i will have form and uh, what i will try to do is uh, form group okay form group and here i will be having a label title <coughs> so how we have did in the angular post post concept only we will be doing it here also so title here i will be having sorry input box right so input input type is equal to text class is equal to form control okay form control i am having the form control in the same scenario what i can do i can copy this one and i can paste it here so here i will be having the description and here what i will try to do is i will try to post the text area okay text area and here this one is the class is equal to form control <clears throat> this is the template basic template and i can write here give class is equal to so empty iphone 2 or something like this to give some margin margin top and I will add button and here it will be button type is equal to submit and here I can write create post. So this is the basic form and here in the script what I can write script so export default this is the script. Now what I need to do is so in the meantime Axios is installed in our system Axios 0.21 21.0 is installed <coughs> so what i can do is i can go to the app.view so let's add this component import post from put post from components okay slash post post dot view it will be post dot view so these are all the concepts we have already covered just i'm explaining to you and here i can add the post so i will be removing this one all okay i will be removing this one all and inside one uh, container okay i will add one container and i will add one row call mod 12 okay here i will add post so this is the basic post and here what i can do is here i can write h2 create post or something like this okay and i will add hr here <coughs> so this is the basic post okay now what I will try to do is I will try to refresh this one so we are able to see the create post so now why this one is coming centrist so we are down we are having some styles for the app so now we can remove this one 
and if we try to see you will be able to see the create post now when i click on this create post we need to add it into the database so i have already created a firebase so a real time database this firebase view complete course okay now what i can do is <coughs> i can do in the post what i can do is so here is the data right so here i can write data and return i can have the title okay default i'll keep it empty at description and i default i can keep it empty so here what i can do here i can make a bind it to the model okay vi one model is equal to title i can keep title and vi one model is equal to description i can bind it to the description here okay so two things i have and now i can write here also so just do some styling class is equal to btn btn iphone primary whatever thing you want you can <clears throat> so now when the form is submitted we need to submit it so at the rate submit dot prevent is equal to on create post okay i will write a method on create post now on create post what i will write to do methods i will be having the methods on create post i need to submit the i need to make an http call to the firebase so what are the database you will be having right now i am having firebase right so what are the database you have you need to make a database call http call uh, http call to the service okay we need to send the data and and there it will be storing the data so how to send a service so we have already installed the axios right so in order to in order to sub, uh, do the axios call what we need to do is we need to import axios from axios okay so import axios from axios and here what i can do axios dot post okay we will be we are making post call right so that is the reason so post and here i can go into this one so this is the url okay this is the url and here same like in angular so if you want to post means so we need to write post.json so in in for your service you will be having a dedicated url so you can send the data for firebase so whatever the post.json whatever the name you will be giving with that name the table will be created and the data will be inserted okay something like mongodb bison structure and here i can write title is equal to this dot title okay so the data i need to send and also description is equal to this dot description okay this dot description this is the right so i think this is the correct okay so this i am sending so upon getting so dot then it will return a promise dot then of response so what i will be trying to do is console.log response just try to print the response so whether it will submit or not we will try to check so if you try to submit the data so let's check the submitting the data now here i will try to refresh this one <coughs> see i am doing the network call here you will be able to see i xhr i mean xhr so now leela web dev so something like i will write web dev post and here i can write leela uh, post description what are the data you want you can write okay so this is the basic thing i have written and now if i try to create post so now it is submitting to the post.json here you will be able to see and the data also it is trying to send title and description and in the response we got the same thing where how we got the angle in angular how we got the same thing we are getting here we are able to get the response see. so the response we are having the configuration and the data in the data we will be having the response data whatever you having the headers the request the status status checks everything you will be having see so same in the angular how you will be getting the data from the http client module same thing from the axis also you will be getting the same thing <clears throat> so in this way we will be making the axios post request uh, uh, we will be making the http post request in the ag in the vuejs using axios so if you want to display any success message you can display it down, uh, down here so div class is equal to alert alert hyphen success message okay alert hyphen success okay post created successfully okay i can write it like this so now i can create here something like vi fun if is success or something like this or whatever however you want to make you can make it so now i am creating it as a boolean if you want to save the message directly in a variable means you can save it not a problem so here i will try it is success is false and what i will try to do is <coughs> here i will try to do this dot is success is equal to true now let's try to check the output if i try to refresh this one 
so sample post i can create the sample post and here also i can create the sample post description and here i will try to i will try to submit I click on submit i am able to see that post created successfully now if i go here and if i see so first one is the leela post description that is first one we have we have submitted and the second one is the sample post what we have submitted so in this way we will be making the http request in the QJS using the axios so you can think of how we will be doing the uh, validations for this one so angular we will be having reactive form validation we have templated form validation here yeah, right so we will write uh, validations we will be doing normally only in QJS so there will be no uh, no other separate concept in QJS however you want to write the validations you can write so it depends on your logic and all those things okay if you want we can do the validations also so this is how we'll be making the post request in the view okay? if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you